The Pence's bunny actually got to deep plane before the vice president. This is Marlon Bundo. One political strategist <laughs> tweeted, Okay, I've been a Pence skeptic, but the fact that he has a rabbit called Marlon Bundo has softened me. The family's two cats, Oreo and Pickle, were carried out by the vice president-elect's wife and daughter. Pickle, the beige and white one, got airsick aboard the plane. But at least the cat didn't nip anyone. <laughs> okay, what the heck is that? <laughs> it's 989 the Buzz, Pizzano and Sandy. So do you think differently now of Vice President elect Michael Pence because <laughs> of the zoo that he carries around with him? Okay, so she was just describing the future vice president's pets? Well, he yes, he's moving into Washington, right? Right. So <laughs> <laughs> on the plane with him are uh the bunny, Mark. Marlon Bundo. Marlon Bundo. His two cats, Oreo and Pickle. And then I hear that he has a snake, too. Are you serious? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> who is running? Our, who is co-running our country? Mike Pence or Dr. Doolittle? <laughs> I knew you were going to go. <laughs> no. uh, that's cool. I, I, I look at him in a different light now. I you think. do, yeah, yeah. don't you? Absolutely, yeah. When you find out somebody has a pet... Mm. It's no big deal. When you find out a person, for some odd reason, they have multiple pets, Mm -hmm. you think differently. You do. And then you judge based on what pet they have. I had a ferret. When I uh, over the years, I've had ferrets over the years. That's borderline do you, do weird. You, do you judge me with that? Yeah, that's weird. Do you? Ferret? After regular domesticated cats, uh, ha- yeah. pets like uh-huh. cats and dogs. Yeah. Right. Right. Lizard. Oh. Ferret. Bunny. Okay. Weird. Uh, bearded dragon. Weird. It's like you're screaming for attention. You're the person. Really? I wonder if there's a study out that the type of pet that you have depicts your personality, like has something to do with your personality. Because if you have a snake, mm-hmm. a rat, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, like one of those fringe animals that yeah, normally ferret. people don't, a pig. <laughs> I know one guy who owns a snake, and that's his, it's the weird part about him. And he's a completely normal guy. But now that I know he owns a snake, I look at him differently. And I notice that he kind of... <laughs> And I don't know, maybe this is just in my head, but every time he talks, he kind of his S's, doesn't he? Doesn't he have a little lisp? You guys know him, too. I, does he have a forked tongue? Like, before, I knew he had a snake. It was regular S's. I'm, go, uh, I'm picking my kids up from school. Now it's, I'm picking my kids up from school. I'm like, wow! It is true. We judge each other based on the pets. My, my own sister, God, I love her. She was a foster failure. She would take care of dogs, and then she could just never give them up, so she would adopt them. Next time you say that, can you say yeah. pet foster failure? Yeah, that could... <laughs> it sounds like, I, it sounds oh, like sorry, your sister pet wasn't, foster failure, wasn't sorry. wanted by your parents it's or just, something. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's going on it's, here? Just, it's just how they refer to it as, uh-huh. jokingly. But anyhow, she just has such a big heart for animals. <laughs> She did make them scrub the floor. It was really weird to see her dog scrubbing the floor. But, um, but she, I was like, uh, I love you to death, and you have a big heart, but you are borderline crazy. So what did you think of me when I had a bearded dragon and a ferret? Did you think I was strange, or you already knew I was strange back then? Or is it what? Does ferret it- is young bachelor pet. That's a young bachelor Not anymore. Pet. Maybe really? in the 80s. Now it's, it's no. No way. I don't yeah. know why. It's, it's like... I don't know. I think what? stoner when I think ferret. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Ferrets are are, uh, and anyone who has one. Are you gonna pitch and, ferrets to me right now? Yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm going to pitch ferrets. <laughs> not to you. Not really, because I I know that you you don't have pets. But if anybody's ever had a ferret, you know what I'm talking about. Let's just put it that way. And Marshall ferrets <laughs> is uh, out in uh, Wilkett. They're like the largest ferret supplier to the world comes out of the Rochester area. When you have a bunny, like Vice President-elect has a bunny and <laughs> names it something funny, Marlon Bundo. The best name. That shows that you're a soft person. You care. It's, it's like, a oh, he's a softy. Come on, he has a mm-hmm. bunny. When you have a snake, you need attention if you have a reptile of some sort. You really huh. crave that attention, which is Scott Spazano. So, Scott so Spazano loves the attention. So he's got both? Yeah. Do you think he comes home? After a hard day of doing politics, looking all silver foxish and being all dressed up in suits and being very formal, he comes down, 
gets on the floor when he walks through the front door and he's like, come here, Martin Fondo, <laughs> kitty, 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 bunny, <laughs> yes. bunny, 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 bunny. I just think it's weird that, that when you go visit the White House now, you're going to be able to put 25 cents in a little machine and get pet food <laughs> and feed Marlon Bundo pickle and cookie. <laughs> Everything. All the time. 98.9 The Buzz.